Good morning, Choctaw High School. I'm Jason Burnham, and this is KJI. Um, hold up. Dylan and I are supposed to be anchoring this week. Uh, correction. Jason and I got this. Yeah. Okay, um, well, first up, spring break begins next week. Remember to be safe, Dylan. Have a super break from school. Um, great job. Competitive Jay drama. <laughs> I was going to say girls basketball for making it to state. Them too. Yeah. Check those scores below and see when they play next. Jade Niendo will be going to nationals in... And Indiana. dramatic interpretation! <laughs> yeah, and a special shout-out to my co-anchor Dylan here for qualifying for nationals. Hold up. My co-anchor Jason Burnham also made nationals. Because, because we're a team. In duo. And also, Ayanna Washington will go to nationals competing in the event of original oratory. Hey, Jason, do you want to hear... Christopher's conspiracies? Oh, oh, heck no! Dylan, you better put a stop to this. Right, so what you got? What you got? Okay. Rebecca Lobo and Miss Christensen. You are stealing my cue cards! Just stop! First, you had Miss Basketball herself as Rebecca Lobo. And since she retired, she moved to Choctaw in the counseling office. I see no resemblance. Jason, back me up on it. I so see it, CJ. Dude, you're brilliant. <laughs> then Hugh Jackman. Yes, it is the Mr. Bass. One and the only. That's, that's just two photos of Hugh Jackman, and one's the Wolverine! Think, Dylan. How did Mr. Bass get you in this class? What's going on, Dylan? Been hitting the juice, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's about to be senior year, Mr. Bass. Huh. Cider or apple? Apple. Okay. So what's, uh, what's got you down? Well, I just don't know what classes to pick. <laughs> Hello? KJI? Uh, it's time to shine. I'm more of an actor, Bass. I'm not a news anchor. So, what are you trying to say? Uh, it's not going to cut it for you. What? I don't think you really know what we're doing. Right here, right now, I put the offer out. I don't want to chase you down. I know you see it. You run with me, and I can cut you free out of the treachery and walls you keep in. So trade that typical for something colorful. And if it's crazy, little, little crazy, you can play it sensible, a king of conventional, or you can risk it all and see. Don't you wanna get away for the same old punch you gotta play? Cause I got what you need, so come with me and take the ride. Take it to the other side, so you can do like I do, or you can do like me. Stay in the cage or family, take the key. Oh man, suddenly you're free to fly. So take it to the other side. Okay, my friend, you wanna cut me in? Well, I hate to tell you, but it just won't happen. So thanks, but no, I think I'm good to go. Cause I quite enjoy the life of sin I'm trapped in. Now I admire you, and that whole show you do. You're onto something, really it's something. But I live among the swells, and we don't pick up peanut shells. I'll have to leave that up to you. Don't you want to let okay with this up? Town pot I get to play Cause I got what I need And I don't wanna take the ride I don't need to see the other side So go and do like you do I'm good to do like me Ain't in a cage so I don't need to take the key Oh man, can't you see I'm doing fine I don't need to see the other side Now is this really how you'd like to spend the old days I hear and misery and parties and plays If I were mixed up with you, I'd be the talk of the town Disgrace and disown, another one of the clowns But you would finally live a little, finally laugh a little Just let me give you the freedom to dream and it'll wake you up Enjoy your aching, take your walls and start them breaking. Now that's a deal that seems worth taking. But I guess I'll leave that up to you. Well, it's intriguing, but to go would cost me greatly. So, what percentage of the show would I be taking? 
fair enough, you'd want a piece of all the action? I'd give you seven, we can shake and make it happen. I wasn't born this morning, 18 would be just fine. <laughs> but I just go ahead and ask for the girls on the back. 15, 12, 10. Don't you want to get away to a whole new part you're gonna play? Cause I got what you need, so come with me and take the ride. To the other side So if you do like I do So if you do like me Forget the cage Cause we know how to make the key Oh man Suddenly we're free to fly We're going to the other side So if you do like I do So if you do like me We're going to the other side We're going to the other side yeah, CJ, how did Mr. Bass get you in the class? KJI, CJ. KJI. Ah! Oh god, please don't hurt me! Uh, baseball played at home last night. Check the scores below. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. How are, come are we doing sports? Uh, we're Caleb and the other Dylan. Yeah, what, I mean... <laughs> sports alone. Wait, so he was here all this time and make me get on camera? I'm gonna kill him. Hold up. Look at all his papers. Guys, these are actually brilliant sport ideas. Oh, sorry, Coach. Were you here for an interview? Nope. Fixing the launch into space. See you on the other side, bro. In the year 1987, NASA launched the last of America's deep space probes. Aboard this compact starship, a lone astronaut, Captain William Buck Rogers, was to experience cosmic forces beyond all comprehension. In a freak mishap, his life support systems were frozen by temperatures beyond imagination. Ranger 3 was blown out of its planned trajectory into an orbit 1,000 times more vast. An orbit which was to return Buck Rogers to Earth 500 years later. Yeah, how you like them apples? Woohoo! <laughs> What's going on? Wait, how did I get here? It's time to take the ships. This is our last stand. Silence? Silence. Attention, attention. His eminence, the Imperious Leader, will be with us shortly. Do you know how that thing works? I have no idea. Well, here, let That's me, right, what's going dude, on? Let me show Not you. now, kid. Either sit up or get out of the way. Let me show you. Let's go. What'd we do? You did. That wasn't. Is, is he alive? I don't think so. He's moving. Of course he's alive. Halo. Man, he's out of it. I've never heard this music before. It's familiar. Hey, coach, what's up? Where's Pearson? I don't know. What is it? What 
is it? I was, I was having a terrible nightmare. Those are the best. What, what happened? First coach Corbin was Brook Rogers, and it was not Battlestar Galactica, and the Coach Hawk was the Terminator, but he wasn't after Sarah Connor. He was after me. So let me get this straight. It's Sci-Fi Week. Oh man, Star Trek? Was Coach Nichols Captain Picard? Oh, I got it, Mr. James T. Kirk, huh? Ooh, I am going to tell Colton that one. I bet Mr. James is James T. Kirk. What? <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Think about it. He's Mr. James, but what's his last name? No, I'm not doing this. What are we going to do with all these great ideas? Sci-Fi League. Who cares about sports? I got it. Miss Hawk as Ripley. And yep, you guessed it. Mr. Crowder as... Okay, I've had enough of this! Dylan and I are the best anchors in this class and in this whole school. Oh, we're oh, good, oh. but that's kind of a far stretch. Oh, Is really that a challenge? Oh. Guys, I've been watching this whole thing. Look! It's Evan Coberly! Him and the lovely Jillian Walker will be going as the first alternates to nationals. Yeah! Yeah! I love you, Evan. Why don't you guys settle this like uh, real anchors, huh? I'm listening. Three challenges. Best anchors win. You have spring break to prepare. Just know that you'll be challenged in the art of articulation, stamina, and artistic style. I'm down. Stamina? Artistic style. <laughs> Ah, dear. Oh. Well, uh, that's it for today, that's Yellow Jackets. Have a great day, Yellow Jackets! Have a great day, no, 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 no. I'm in the spotlight. Y'all suck. Yeah, I'm in the spotlight. Conspiracy!